What's going on, my fellow A plusers, fellow patrons? It is I, your more phenomenal host, Adam Perez, coming through once again as we're set to go ahead and tackle episode number 35 of Go Kaijers. We have yet another reaction video for you guys available. Early access, as always, to our fellow patrons, uh, and then eventually within the next few weeks, uh, definitely available to the general public as well as our subscribers. Uh, so I certainly hope you have been enjoying uh, our journey so far through Go Kaijer. Uh, this is my second uh, run through for the entire series. Uh, still loving it the second time around, honestly, and uh, uh, really loving just some of the cameos and some of the past Super Sentai seasons that we're uh, that we've been having so far. In this episode, I do believe we're going to tackle some Go Anjur in here, uh, as uh, we do see uh, at least just based off of the cover uh, photo here for this upcoming week's episode. I do see Go Anjur on the front, so maybe we do have ourselves yet another uh, cameo here, to certainly say the least. Um, if I recall, I believe this was like a two-parter episode, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, for me, it'll be interesting to dive back into this uh, and see what, uh, what I'm missing out on once again. So, Guys, you guys know how we do around here because uh, of copyright. We will be having no video shown, but we will be providing a timestamp for you so you can certainly follow along and make sure that we're all on the same page. If you want to watch along with us, I will go ahead and put a link in the description box below so you can certainly go ahead and keep up with us there as well. But um, you guys know how we like to do around here just to make sure that we're all starting on the same page. We go three, two, one, play is when we hit that play button. So let's go ahead and dive into it. You guys ready? Let's do this. Three, two, one, play. <clears throat> I do believe I have my English subtitles up too this time. So we should be good. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. Go on. Just looking good. Man, Doc and... Uh, Guy coming through with the food. I do love me some fruit. What the? Is that Jigglypuff? Who's that? <laughs> what the? Oh, yeah. You definitely from Goanja's world for sure. <laughs> I love that look on Captain Marvelous's face. Like, what the hell is this? Who, who are you again? Uh, I love it. I love it. You know, I will say this: for somebody like myself who's only dabbled in a few Super Sentai seasons, you know, when I first jumped into this. Uh, when I watched it the first time, well, I, again, there are still characters that I'm certainly not familiar with because since my first time, I haven't had the opportunity to watch all the Super Sentai seasons. So some of these series uh, are still pretty brand new to me, especially with the idea of uh, Goanger. I definitely know its counterpart in RPM, but when it comes to the Super Sentai season, uh, not quite so much. But that's the one thing that I've loved about Go Kaijers when, uh, and one of the reasons why I suggest it's a first time Super Sentai watchers. For me personally, while I go into the episodes and I may not necessarily know them, Talk about getting me intrigued enough to want to go back and check out some of these particular seasons also. So uh, to see how they've been doing a great job of incorporating them so far into the main story. I don't think you need to go into these episodes knowing who they are. I'm pretty sure it definitely is quite helpful. Um, but for me, it's just a really great reminder is, Adam, you got to go back and check out some of these Super Sentai seasons because you are missing out on some fantastic things. So um, I, that's definitely one of the reasons why we do uh, Super Sentai reviews and reactions for past Super Super Sentai seasons now. Um, so definitely looking forward to continuing on this journey as we uh, get through Go Kaija, episode number 35, headed our way, guys. Let's do this. Episode 35, to the next dimension. That's something out of like Buzz Lightyear, I feel like. Engine Sentai Goanja. Bumper. <laughs> I love it. The navigation droid, huh? Robot. Yeah, Navi is much cuter. I don't know. He looking like Jigglypuff. He looks like he's kind of cute himself. I 
11 overlapping dimensions. Interesting. <laughs> Joe's all confused. <laughs> Guy is freaking out. Yeah, it's red, isn't it? Mach full force gone red. Yeah, nice. I also love seeing him in um, Super Sentai Greatest Battle. <laughs> I love how they failed to mention that to him when they first met. Gunman World. Oh, I do remember this episode a little bit here. I did love his costume design. I thought it was pretty awesome. Gunman World will be ruled by the Gyrak. Gyrak. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. Damn, he took him to matchbox car size. <laughs> Guy's like the only one ready. Good catch of him. He ready to just go into battle without having his key. Mm, that catches Captain Marvelous's attention, right? Almost really going to just jump through the rift? Yo, I love his... Uh... I love his attitude. <laughs> yeah, you might need your uh you might need your key for that. It's a great mindset. <laughs> Looks like he's earned uh, Captain Marvelous's trust. I do dig that. It's almost like he's kind of testing him.
I mean, it definitely probably has to prove something to Captain Marvel. It's the fact that this guy is willing to fight without even having his ranger key or his abilities, right? Um, that definitely just kind of showcases to him the urgency. One, the urgency, but also what this guy truly stands for, right? Like, he's not there just to boast and, and talk a lot. He's really out there just to help people. So, clearly, that definitely appeals to um, that definitely appeals to Marvelous. Looks like our pirates are going to turn into uh, heroes for a while, huh? I can't lie, Gum and World actually looks pretty fun. I, I'm I'm a I'm a sucker for uh, a a great western, so. Yeah, man, you wanted their help, right? Now they're coming to help you. Let them take care of these guys. Oh, nice, Asuki. Oh, okay. Okay, going old school. Battle Fever, okay. I feel like Battle Fever fits uh, the Western theme pretty well, considering how old school they are. Oh, nice moves. Oh, nice. Oh, that Penta Force looks pretty legit. See, like, that should have been enough to take them out. Sometimes I just feel like Gokaiju just likes, they literally do like showing off. I mean, they're they're not even kidding when they say, let's make this showy. They definitely do go above and beyond. These individual attacks, though, look incredible. Love it. Oh, they found him. Susuke. Oh, that looks so damn good. That looks so good. It's pretty cool that they already have the um, grand power, but they're actually getting the opportunity to meet them for the first time. Oh. Oh, feisty and jealous type, huh? <laughs> Did they have like little baby cars together? Wow, that's a name. I'm just going to call him Chira. Oh. They did have kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that their kid? Yeah, he's an asshole. Oh. 
Oh, snap. You put a bullet through this man's milk? Yeah. That's a cool ass design for a co for a costume. Ooh, a little warning shot. Yeah, this man loves to eat, and you're interrupting that. Old Western duel. I love it. Captain Marvel, are you even going to get your hand ready on your pistol? Draw. Ooh. Oh, that's a cool shot. Oh, get him, Marvelous. Ooh, that was sick. Sick. See, this is this is why you let Captain Marvel be the one to do the duels, man. He go. Oh. He said, "You ain't got shit on me, bro." Wow. Yeah, that's a that's a good idea. <laughs> I love that they're practically invincible whenever they uh whenever they transform. Yo, Captain Marvelous and those moves. You see that the fact that he shot down those other oncoming bullets, that's that's skills, man. That's skills. And talent. <laughs> Ooh, this is why this man's the leader. Oh, dang. That artillery he's packing. Ooh. Are they going to hold off on their Gowanjo transformation to the, to the next episode? Oh, dang. You give Captain Marvel his two guns? Yeah, this guy don't stand a chance. Dude, I love the soundtrack. I do like when they uh, go kind of just switches out their uh, traditional composition for uh, this type of music. Ooh. Yeah, I'm glad they don't just stick with their traditional theme. I'm glad that they do switch it up. Hmm. 
Oh, yes, bringing in that buster, baby. Nice. Ooh, nice slide in pose there, Gokai Silver. Is he going to grow too? Of course he would. At least their Gokai Galleon does come across dimensions too, right? The Goju drill doesn't surprise me. I can see that definitely going through dimensions, but it's kind of cool to see the Gokai Galleon able to travel through dimensions too. Ooh, that Godzilla fire breath. I love it. Huh? Why is that? Yeah, I wonder why he wasn't able to use it. That's weird to me. Yeah, this guy's definitely out of here now. Oh, that tried mode is not playing around. Dang, they're not playing around when it comes to these final attacks. They really try. He he better be defeated after all these attacks. This is the third one they're hitting him with. The guy arc. Oh, back on Earth. Man. He's managed to make his way through. Oh, he closed the rift. Oh, crap. You've used it before. I swore that they used it before. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Bubba Cheeto. Hmm. That sucks. Oh, we fooled them. Oh, what a great plan that was. Stay there, suck your thumbs, and just watch. Yo, that's a pretty, pretty brilliant move on his part. Yeah, I guess they're definitely going to need the help of uh, Body Body over here. Um, yeah, I actually had no idea. I, I think that's a pretty good uh, 
plan that Babachito wound up actually uh, coming up with to go ahead and actually lure them away from their world uh, and get them trapped over in their gunman world. Um, um, yeah, pretty good stuff. Great to see uh, Susuke. What did they pronounce? Sasuke? 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 I can't remember his name now. I can't pronounce it correctly. Um, but uh, great to see his cameo in here. I feel like I've, I've seen him maybe a handful of times. Um, I definitely enjoyed his appearance when I watched him in the Super Sentai Greatest Battle. So I'm glad that we actually do get the opportunity to enjoy this in a two-parter. I do kind of remember this episode somewhat. Um, Consider the fact that I do remember it was at least a two-parter. I just remember it standing out to me because of the fact that we got to visit another dimension, another world. Uh, and I do remember I was really impressed with the uh, costume designs that they wind up having for their monster here uh, was one of the reasons why I wanted to revisit uh, or at least visit uh, Go Wanjo because I was actually really impressed with what I wind up seeing just in this episode alone like I haven't even truly been formally introduced to Baba Chido as of yet but uh, I definitely look forward to seeing how they're gonna plan on getting back our go rank our go kaijers uh, in the second half of this particular episode but so far so good man uh, one of the things that I uh, continue to like is really how Captain Marvel is just kind of takes a step back and lets things kind of come to him right like if he's uh, unfamiliar with a particular situation that he finds himself in. He kind of likes to let things sort of play themselves out and kind of see what the intentions of the other person truly is. And I'm assuming with Go On Your Red, um, he can clearly see just his passion of wanting to help other people, not really having any sort of ulterior motives. The fact that this guy was determined to get to this other dimension, um, especially when he didn't have the ability to even do so or the power to truly fight back the way that he wants to. I think, again, and it goes back to that message of, you know, what? why are you here, right? Like, why do you want to be a Super Sentai? Uh, what, what is the main thing that you're concerned about? Is it about transformation? Is it about having power? Or are you there to protect people, right? Never forget what brought you to the dance. And I think that's something that we learned just recently in episode 32 or 33 with the um, return of, of Die Ranger here, right? Um, seeing um, the idea of Guy not having his abilities um, and... Um, being so determined and uh, adamant that the only way he could truly fight is if he had his changer, you know what I mean? So to learn that lesson of not needing to transform in order to protect people, I think even carries over into this episode. And I think that's one of the things that really stands out to Captain Marvelous um, is, in fact, Goanja Red's determination. And so while they certainly aren't heroes, uh, they definitely know when is certainly the time to definitely fight back and protect people. Um, so I, I clearly love to see um, um, Captain Marvelous as he definitely continues to grow, not only as a pirate, but um, as a hero, too, in his own right. So it's really great to see um, uh, that character evolution, if you will. But um, other than that, guys, a really strong episode here this week. Really looking forward to the second parter. Uh, I thought for the most part, uh, Bobby Cheeto had a brilliant plan to go ahead and distract our Go Kaijers, and it certainly worked to perfection. So we'll see what happens when we get into the second part of this. But guys, listen, at the end of the day, I want to know your thoughts. What did you guys think about uh, episode number 30? Four, uh, 35, I should say, of, of uh, Go Kaiser. Definitely go ahead and let, my, let me know your thoughts in the live chat or the comment section box below. Uh, but other than that, guys, that's going to do it for us here. But we'll certainly be back next time with a brand new reaction video. Until then, though, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and as always, keep it A+. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.